everyone. This is Michael representing 2Med2. Working on the Entertainment Weekly exclusive part three of three. For this segment, I'm going to be going over some interviews that Anthony Bresnikan did with the cast of the Han Solo movie, Solo, A Star Wars Story. I'm going to be giving you brief little overviews because there was really nothing mind-blowing in these for spoilers or big clues or hints that were dropped. Alden Ehrenreich talks about the Han Solo character and how he wants to be better than he is. Um, he wants to become more than he is and realizes how hard that is in life to really do, just like making YouTube videos, which I've now learned. We do find out that Kira, played by Amelia Clark, has known Han for some period of time and is an important person to him. We haven't found out yet if it's a romantic thing, what happens. I think she's the reason that Han's Han. Um, whether it's a broken heart from a jilted lover, someone he thought could be depended upon, not really sure. Maybe after a few more trailers, teaser, commercials, we'll be able to piece it together a little bit better. But like I said in a previous video, and just because they show it to us doesn't mean it's in the movie. Everyone hated that about Rogue One. They were sitting there waiting for parts, and they just never showed up. In the movie, Han meets for the first time Chewie, Lando, and L3. We've seen through the trailer, he meets Beckett for the first time also. And we just find out in general that Han wants to be one thing and ends up being what we see 50 minutes into Star Wars in the cantina. But, of course, he changes more to be that good guy, but that only lasts 15 or 20 years till he goes on the run again. Next we have Amelia Clark's character, Kira, and her interview is kind of short and sweet, doesn't really deal too much with Star Wars, um, there's a lot of Game of Thrones going on, because um, she's still fi filming it, but everything's kind of left aloof or a mystery because of the questions that were asked, but she's supposed to be an enigma. She does what she has to do to survive, she's kind of a chameleon. Next up, we have Donald Glover who plays Lando Calrissian. This article or interview just sums up what you would expect out of Lando Calrissian as a youngster. He's slick, smooth, he wants nice things, he's, he's flashy, the opposite of what we see Han later on, especially because of the Millennium Falcon, um, the deterioration or difference in looks that it takes. The next character we have is Phoebe Waller Bridges. Um, this one is a droid, L337, also known as L-E-E-T. From this, I think that she is going to be somewhat of a comedic aspect for the film. She gets along very well with Lando. Just in general, a fun character. Next we have what I think is going to be some supporting cast. Tobias Beckett, who's played by Woody Harrelson. His character is based on Long John Silver. And he's going to play a big role or an impact in the way that Han turns out to be. I'm not really sure what aspect that is. There's still a lot of questions to be answered over the next three months. The next person we have is Tandy Newton. Uh, she plays Vale. She's a real mystery. We don't know anything about her, except she's part of the crime family that Han joins, and she doesn't really trust him, because he's a pretty boy young kid who hasn't really proven himself. And then for our last character, we have Dryden Voss. He's played by Paul Bettany, but this role was originally played by Michael K. Williams, who was Chalky in Boardwalk Empire. He was on The Wire. He's been in a lot of things. But because of the reshoots that needed to be done when Ron Howard came in, 
conflicted with his schedule, so he was out. The line in this story says that here's the successful crime boss, the godfather, the debonair and sophisticated hood. Voss is the complete opposite of Jabba the Hutt. Jabba's fat and disgusting. Voss, nice, prim, proper, but will still get his hands dirty. I wouldn't be surprised if we know he's a big crime lord, if he's actually the big heavy in this and not the character we saw in the trailer that everyone instantly thought was the new big bad guy from that two second clip that they saw. Okay, there's a bonus character. It is the Millennium Falcon. They didn't share too much because it had to stay spoiler free. The reason it looks the way it does and in pristine condition is because Lando had it. Pimp's got to have a nice ride. Han gets it, and we see what happens to it a few years later. Also with the speculation, Han may have done it not because he didn't take care of it, but because if you're trying to be a smuggler and do things incognito, if you're flashy and people see you, you're going to draw attention to yourself. That's why it doesn't look so good, the exterior interior. Why everything's breaking on it, I don't know. Maybe he's struggling, living day by day like the rest of us, paycheck by paycheck. That's why he can't pay Jabba his money. But all these things, again, aren't solo theories. They're just kind of ideas that are being thrown out because we don't have any evidence to make a theory. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the buttons. I said good day. May the force be with you.